Good morning, everybody. Today we'll be talking a little bit about quartz. Quartz uh, is the main place where you need to look for gold because they are similar. Like a gold flutes and quartz flutes is almost in the same place. So quartz can be with the gold and with no gold. So and. Uh, how to say it not always gold is in the quartz because from earth when gold and quartz was pushed out uh, quartz first comes out the surface because they are lighter than gold fluids and when is surface coming out always comes first is uh, quartz and gold the surface coming last because it's a heavier material so what's happening first coming out the quartz look how big how big quartz and do you think there is a gold in this uh, uh, open area if there be gold there be you never see that much quartz sitting here, but all time is was digging and looking, and I can see how much debris was here. All quartz is broken quartz, and like I say, everybody was looking for gold, but looking to those rocks, I can tell you, they're no gold. Yeah, they're nice looking brown and layers and everything but gold i don't think so it came to surface in this area no in this exactly particular place this looks like nice of course it looks like <laughs> but like i said first the surface coming is quartz Sometimes, uh, if then finishes, what what suspicious for this line can be gold line. I need to take a sample a little bit later. But gold, so that gold fluids and quartz fluids never mixes together. So if you found the gold, be separate from quartz. If you take, let's say, this rock and try to find the gold, I don't think so you found anything here inside because I didn't see gold flutes. Gold flutes is a little bit different color here. Yeah. Uh, little bit yellow, yellow, and how say it, and light brown. Here is dark brown. It's not the not the gold fluids. See, it's nice, everything, but I guarantee here hundreds, hundreds of people who was looking for gold, they was checking this quartz already. And I don't think so they found the gold. This is a long, long quartz. It starts going down all the way to the, like one mile in that direction and one mile in that direction. So here is, I'm still sitting right now in the middle somewhere and I came to take some samples. Uh, I don't even want to touch it. this one. I can look in rock and I can tell you it's not highly mineralized. It's just one, one place I see something interesting. It's a, this one little line is darker. Yeah. I maybe take some samples, but it's very tiny one. It's not worth. So, and I see a lot of debris over here. It means people was rushing, checking, but I don't think so. They found something. So, when you take a quartz, you always look for this kind of brown flat sides 
quartz like standing like this so flutes goes over here you see how flat flat area and this is another side but this is in the middle it's no point even looking because you can't find nothing and flutes goes on the sides and what if it's if it normally gold is there be gold just in this like two three millimeters from the surface but how do I know I I need to check it with microscope to see how how it looks this thing and of, of course I need to get the water to wet it then you water wetting the gold knot uh, don't like get wet so it shines differently uh, all quartz becomes like a dim and you right away can recognize the gold in, in the surface so but another thing you need to know more microscopic gold which one barely you can see with naked eye or at all or you always need to use tools uh, to, to check it i'm using three tools this one this one and this one this is 60 times big multiplying this 30 and this cap too so right now it's setting on 60 so i use it always this little one and every one of them need to have a light everyone need to have a light because another another thing if there's no light you can't see nothing because light you have a set of batteries so you need to have a three t one of those one of those and water then you make a surface wet you see you can look in course and you can see it's a crack over here so it means this surface potential for gold you see it's on, on both sides is separate oh okay perfectly so if you're looking for gold don't look in this big piece nothing to do look but if it's gold you look in this tiny one you see the yellow yellow stuff so this is potential to have a gold you know gold you you don't think about gold big pieces we always think oh my gosh gold that is big no gold is microscopic microscopic you need to look with this one and you wet with this surface and then you look with microscope and you can see if there is gold there is gold and people mostly go see the quartz they collect the quartz quartz don't have gold I, it's never mixes like a water and oil how many times you mix it you still get oil on the top of water so the, the same with the quartz and, and gold so fluids and when they underneath the earth they are separate too so uh, when, when they are hot melted with the big pressure and uh, everything they uh, when in the earth that's a crack and in this case we have like mile long crack i can see this far far i be going over there to another place there is a little bit more mineralized rocks i be taking samples over there and, and i try to make you how to look for the gold using chemicals and uh, this quartz for my thinking is empty because it's a big amount of quartz coming and if something is then you need to look on the sides 
on the sides of the squats because you know first gold flutes coming last so if that big piece of quartz came out first then i can see how many times there was that option one time then second time third time and i don't see last last flute coming here and, uh, last flute can be like this or tiny ones or here a little bit but i didn't see too much mineralization here simple things yeah never collect the quartz like let's say this one it's so useless it's, it's nothing inside because you need to watch like I say flat surface like like what this one you see quartz was like standing like this this is one sign, this is second sign. In the middle, I don't think so is anything. So, if you're checking, you make a bet with the surface and look with the microscope for shiny gold microscopic pieces. If you found, then you need to find where this thing came from and, and look. Gold almost is more like water that gold flutes is like water and they when they're coming they sometimes comes like in those microscopic cracks in the quartz and fills up like this is what something is exactly what I thought you see that there can be gold flute but then not just the gold inside there is another minerals dissolve it so what I want to say, when you're looking for gold, always look not in the quartz. Look in the quartz on the sides. Let's say I'm going to brush it this one a little bit. I have one hand, this one hand. Ah, you see? It shines, but this is not a gold. This is not a gold flute. If you're checking what here, let's say what here, it's, it's a, the same from that area where gold coming. If you look with microscope, if this uh, contains a gold, then you can see microscopic pieces of gold standing. Not everywhere, but like here, here, here. So. But you need to make a wet. On dry, you can't even see. So, like I say, gold comes after flutes, so after quartz, and fills all the cracks in the quartz. Because the big pressure, huge pressure, it's not like we thinking at home, pressure cooker have pressure. No, this is a lot bigger pressure. And, and, and they pushes that gold flutes in all the cracks and the quartz. So like I say, over here is a potential potential to look for gold. It's a, this, this line. Here is empty, here empty. No point even looking. It looks nice, but this is just a quartz. Quartz and some kind of mud. So, if you want to look for gold, look in the cracks between those rocks. Potential. And over here on the sides, you can check it for the gold. But no point crushing because uh, this is not mineralized so much mineralized rock and like I say it's a lot of 
a lot of lines like one two this is was coming a lot of times up so this brown stuff is not a gold no no point to even do something so let's go to another place let's go to another place and we collect some mineralized rock here is not mineralized it's very poorly it's just barely something inside okay oh, you see old timers i used to crush this rock over here and that maybe was banning something because this this was going high like this all this to the point and this is the place where they was crushing i checked this sand i didn't found a single set of gold in this place so we go all the way there to check for gold gold ore 